Let's talk about issues. Um, Hillary Clinton campaigned this week with former Vice President Al Gore in Florida, uh, hoping to appeal to voters who care a great deal about the environment and about uh, climate change. Um, but we know now um, from a hacked email from WikiLeaks that uh, in a private meeting with labor unions, Hillary Clinton um, appears to have said this uh, in a meeting with labor unions about environmental activists. Hillary Clinton, quote, they come to my rallies and they yell at me and you know all the rest of it. They say, will you promise never to take any fossil fuels out of the earth ever again? No, I won't promise that. Get a life, you know? Um, I mean, I think this is one of the reasons why there have been enthusiasm issues with, with Hillary Clinton is that uh, get a life, you know, that, that's kind of a harsh statement to say to environmentalists. Well, I, again, as when I was speaker, my, my flagship issue was climate and right. energy independence. Uh, and so uh, the fact is, is you, you cannot go to a place where you say we're never taking another fossil fuel out of the earth, although we'd like to, with renewables, get to a place like that, but there are plenty of uses for fossil fuels that have nothing to do with degrading. Right, but the you don't talk that way. You don't, and even behind closed doors, I would have a tough time imagining you saying about environmentalists get a life. But the point is, is not this. The point is not should we take fossil fuels out of there. The point is this: the Republicans have been in total denial about climate, the climate crisis that we are facing. Total denial. For decades, they have opposed any enforcement or even study of the Kyoto Agreement to go back to the 90s, Montreal Agreement, and the rest of that. They are in denial of science and fact in relationship to many things, including uh, the issue of climate change. So I think that the, if you want to talk about a contrast on these things, uh, it's, I think it's stunning that the, the Republican Party, a party that made great contributions to the environmental protection of our country, some great environmental starting with Teddy Roosevelt. With, and now we have a Republican Party that rejects all science, fact, and data. So that's the argument you would make to an environmentalist who comes to your office and says, I'm concerned that Hillary Clinton is saying, get a life behind us, about us behind closed doors. Well, it's, it's you know, in other words, uh, I, I am a progressive Democrat in the Congress, and I'm never good enough uh, for the far, far left. And so, it, you know, I, I, I understand that. But that is their role. They are advocates. And they must be relentless, persistent, and dissatisfied. That plays an important role for our country. And as leaders, we have to make decisions, hopefully, that are sustainable with the boldest common denominator. Not the least, but the boldest common no denominator. We have a responsibility to future generations to protect this planet. It's a moral issue. That's why environment... Uh, evangelicals work with us. They believe, as do I, that this is God's creation and we have a moral responsibility to preserve it. It's a, an uh, uh, economic issue to keep America number one, the green, new green technologies. Mm -hmm. It's a, a national security issue. Uh, to, to, well, we've had the generals testify over and over again the impact of, of uh, climate change throughout the world being a national security issue. And as I say, um, a health issue in terms of clean air, clean water for our children to breathe. So there's every reason to try to find common ground, especially with the party that led the way on environmentalism.